Boom sauce. Top of the morning, everybody. Hope you are having a kick-ass Monday. Monday for me, or I guess it depends on when you're actually watching this video. Uh, super excited for today's training. Today we're going to be kind of jamming out a bit on content creation, you know, why you're actually posting content, what your content's meant to do for you as a business owner, uh, whether you're a course, course creator, coach, affiliate, uh, doesn't necessarily matter when you kind of nail the content uh, can kind of be used the same, the same, same skeleton can be used no matter what you're selling, right? It doesn't really make a difference. It's a big thing that gets missed in the affiliate space or the online business space in general uh, is like affiliate product or digital product. It's, it's just the piece of the monetization. Uh, so you can really interchange the front. So could, today we're going to be kind of breaking down some some poor, four powerful content buckets that you guys can start leveraging uh, if you want to start making sales a lot easier on your your part uh, and, and start making more money, right? That's a goal for a lot of people. We all need money to eat food and you know eat snacks and all that good stuff. So uh, nailing the content aspect of the game will make your life a whole lot easier. Thanks for jumping on. Uh, Jessica, Kit, Sonia, Annette, hope you guys are having a good Monday so far. Tag everybody on this, annoy people with that, uh, everybody, but hey. Good morning, good morning. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I did uh, just about nothing, if we're being honest, just hung out at home. That's that's the usual though, so that's why I built a business. <laughs> Jeremy, Liam, Brandy, awesome sauce. Got a handful of folks on. Uh, try to keep these pretty short and punchy, so we'll just uh, we'll just uh, dive right into it, right? And I wanted to do this one because I know this is a big problem for a lot of people. Is they always ask the burning questions like, you know, what should what should I create content on, right? What should I record a video on? What should I write about? Um, so. These, we're going to be breaking down some some different buckets that you can really speak to inside of your content, uh, which which makes the sales process a lot easier. We'll start cutting the sales process down. Now, the thing that I will mention too is about your content in general is it's an accumulative game, right? So your content is it's not like one piece of content is going to radically change your your life, right? So you can look at that from two different approaches. A, the fact that it's going to take off. You know the pressure in yourself because it, it it's it's not going to change my life if this piece of content isn't the best thing in the world. And two, um, is the fact that the 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 real power of your content lies in how long people are consuming that content, right? So, say for example, someone comes into my group, they they've seen one piece of content from me on TikTok or Facebook Reels the chances of them buying a product from me like right this second is usually pretty slim, right? There is the anomalies. There is the people that come in and, you know, they're extremely motivated and they end up buying a product. But more often than not, what usually happens is somebody sees a piece of content over here and then maybe they come into my group and they consume and they binge content for, you know, 30, 60, 90 days. And then they start buying. And this this eventually starts happening at scale, right? This this is why people always talk about consistency is key, consistent content's key, because you're you're basically moving people along the buying spectrum with your content a little bit at a time, right? That's the goal of your content is to uh, you know pre-sell on you, pre-sell on your offers, talk about what you're doing in your life and business, right? You're it, it's meant to accelerate the relationships with people. Right. That, that's the main objective of any of the content you're creating. Right. So we're going to be talking about some different buckets that you guys can actually cover in your, in your content itself, because I know a lot of people struggle with like what they should actually be creating content on. So these are actual uh, tactics that we use in our business. Right. And we do very well with content. Right. We don't have as many followers as some people uh, or as many as big of audiences, but we convert extremely high percentages of our audience. Right. I think I only have, you know, 30 something thousand followers on TikTok. And the reality is, is, you know, we've done consistent thirty six thousand dollar months for coming up on two years. So at the minimum. 
So number one, first bucket would be you can never go wrong with challenges, right? So show people the real frustrations they're dealing with. Uh, showcase that you know where they are, right? Be relatable. If you've made mistakes in your business, if you've ran into challenges online, if you've done things and they haven't worked, talk about those, right? Or, or even you can even talk about challenges with the thing that you do in your business. I think a big thing a lot of people miss too is, is the fact that you can be vulnerable with your processes, right? So when a good real-time example of this is like, if, if I'm talking about some of our offers or some of our products that we're using in our business, you know, like group juice strategies, where it's a lot of content leverage and no sales calls and people coming to you and uh, raising their hands, right? Naturally, that's going to be a slower process than if you were going to do sales calls, right? We talk about eliminating sales calls all the time, but the reality is the customer journey can be a little bit longer with what we do. Now, that doesn't mean there's not value in what we teach, but it, it, it shows a level of transparency, vulnerability, right? I, I don't want people to come in and expect to make $100,000 in 15 minutes, but, you know, that, that's a, a, a negative potential side of, of what we teach or what we do, right? Um, so layer in some speci specificity. I can't, can't say that word to do today. You know, ha hashtag shout out Jess in, in the comments uh, because apparently I can't say it either. So um, explain in detail their current challenges by using a story to paint a picture for them. Uh, kind of like a mini movie script, right? If you're talking about, hey, I used to do this thing and... I, I was doing this in my business and it wasn't really working out. You guys will see me do this all the time. I talk about blogging. I talk about, you know, when I used to run Facebook ads, I used to run a digital marketing agency. And it's not the fact that there's anything wrong with those business models or the fact that those business models can't make money. It's the fact that I didn't have success with those. So people that are in that current situation are going to resonate with that because I'm sharing my experience with doing that thing. If that makes sense. Um, so present them their own struggles and prove that you know them a better way to do, you know a better way to do it, right? So that's a good real-time example of what I was just mentioning. If I'm talking about blogging, if I'm talking about running a digital marketing agency, I have real feedback on those actual things because I've tried them. I did them for a long time, right? Uh, and then if I'm, I'm kind of like looking at the business, hey, I, I wrote 296,000 words on a blog that made me $65, and then if I come over here and I'm like, hey, but I also created a Facebook group that's done hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? This is going to look better over here. So if that makes sense. So the people that are in that, that current pain point, the people that are currently doing what I used to be doing, they're going to they're gonna feel gravitated towards coming and working with us or buying one of our products because I'm talking about my experience and then I'm sharing what actually happened in my business. You'll You'll see me and Flip do this all the time. We'll mention how... You know, we spent three plus years struggling in the online space and we did. We both spent tens and thousands of dollars online and struggled extremely difficultly for three years individually in our own businesses before things ever started to work or click. Right. And that's something we brought to all of our paid programs. All of our offers uh, is, is basically condensing and bringing all of the things we wish we would have had when we started. So. So what are what are the, the present problems and frustrations that are keeping them where they are now? Um, the results, the no results ride. So this is a big one. You can go like monetary results or problems that are that are people are facing or outside of the monetary aspect. Right. A, a, a big thing that keeps a lot of people stuck is like fear of investment, fear of jumping into, you know, programs. Maybe they've been burned prior, uh, you know. Frustrations with feeling like that maybe they don't have enough time because they work a job. Maybe they got little kids, right? Like there's so many different angles that you could lean on as far as like actual problems in their in off in in their business. <clears throat> so that that would be like all in the in the first bucket, right? Really speaking on challenges that you know people are facing, uh, and a couple of ways that you could figure out that is like. A, look at the things you've, you've, you could never go wrong with talking about things you've struggled with, right? It gives you a lot of context, especially if you used to struggle and now you're having some success. And this doesn't have to be like, hey, I made a million dollars. It could be like, hey, I grew my following by 100 people. Uh, sharing the fact that this is where I used to be and this is what I'm doing now. And it, do, it, does, it doesn't mean you have to be like 
in the end in the end goal for your business, right? You can do this in different layers and different stages, right? It evolves with you as your brand grows. So one would be challenges. Two, the second bucket would be success map, blueprint, game plan, profit path, uh, however you want to word it, you know, uh, how is it you're going to help them accomplish their short and long-term goals? Why, what are you doing and how are you doing it? Don't be afraid to talk about what you're actually doing inside of your business, right? Like th this is a, a big thing a lot of people miss is this is something we've really leaned into the last probably six plus months as well is, right? Give, give them the secret sauce. Like if you can go out and you can give people tactics and strategies you're using in their, in your business. And like, if somebody can go win off of a free training, you give them the chances of them coming and buying a product from you is extremely high. If, if I run this training in my group, for example, right now, and somebody goes out and they create a piece of content and it makes a thousand dollar sale for them, they're going to want to work with us naturally because they just won off of a free piece of information that I got that I gave them. Right. Uh, yeah. I'll get you the doc in, uh, in a hot second. Um, let me see. Mm -mm. Drop it to you real quick. Uh, what, what have you done and how have you done it, right? So kind of look at your online biz is like kind of like your journal, right? Talk about the things you're doing, what you're actually doing in your business, right? Talk about processes you're using. Talk about things that did start working for you. In, and like that that's an invaluable tactic, an invaluable strategy, right? If you're talking about, hey, and, and if you think about leveraging these two buckets together, they become really powerful because if you're like, hey, I used to chat, I used to be struggling with this, right? I used to be doing this in my business and it had me feeling, you know, used or exhausted or, you know, I wasn't making any money. And then you come in and you're like, hey, even though I was struggling with this X problem, I came in and, you know, I, I did $10,000 profit by leveraging this strategy, right? Or I grew my following by 100 people. I grew my community by 200 people, right? Like they work really well together. So uh, what have you done? How have you done it? And and this does, like the thing too is like people talk about imposter syndrome. Like, oh, I can't speak on that because I'm not uh, making enough money to be an expert. And the reality is you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be this sacred person. You can literally just speak on the things that you have accomplished. And if you're if you're putting any content out on the internet, you've accomplished more than you've accomplished more than the vast um, number of people. There's people out there right now that absolutely hate their jobs. They want to do something different with their life and they don't have the courage to even start. Right. So if you're doing anything in business, you're doing anything online. Right. Like you have something that you can help people accomplish. That's the reality of it. Uh, next would be give them a bird's eye view of your steps of achieving X without Y or Z uh, things they're uh, things they're doing now or have already tried. Right. This is a big marketing angle. We leverage a lot. Right. We talk about, you know, how we've done, you know, six hundred thousand dollars with a single offer without taking sale, any sales calls. Right. We've done less than a dozen sales calls and we've we, I think we've created over sixteen hundred customers at this point. Uh, we don't do calls. Right. That, that's a very appealing angle we talk about. Right. That's not to say sales calls don't work. But, you know, when you're trying to do sales calls with a, a five year old child who likes to come in the room with a dog toy in her mouth and ask if you want to play fetch, it, it doesn't work out very well. It's not a good look. So, um, that, yes, that's a real story, by the way. Um, you know, and, and this could, you could look at this on different levels. Right. It could be like, hey, I'm going to show you how to generate your first, you know, thousand followers on TikTok without creating fake side hustle content. Uh, I'm going to show you how to generate your first 10 group members without, uh, you know, going viral or, you know, there's so many different things. If you look at like, if you can look at things you've a struggled with in your business or things that you see people struggling with, if you can help them remove that piece of the business while giving, getting them to where they want, it's, it's a very powerful recipe. It's ultimately kind of what we've done with Group Juice as a whole. That was an intention behind it is both of us were really sick and tired of going into other communities, adding friends, adding random people, and then booking calls 
So we kind of took our own spin and our own process. And now we have a program that's helped people explode their groups without adding friends, close sales without doing calls, right? So we're embedding, you know, the without, with, achieving X without Y and Z, right? It's a very powerful marketing angle. You'll see a lot of people do this with their products, right? How you can sell, you know, how you can build a done for you affiliate marketing business without doing any of the hard selling yourself, right? Now, I'm not advocating for that style, but that, that's a, a good real time example of that, that marketing tactic, right? Um, good morning, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, give them a bird's eye view of your, oh, okay, I already did that one. See, uh, walk them through the steps and what it looks like as a paid customer or client. So obviously if you don't have a lot of sales yet, you haven't made any sales, this is kind of a, uh, more of an advanced tactic. Uh, but talk about what it looks like. Talk about what it looks like to work with you, right? Explain that to people. The more, the more that you guys can put into your content, the, the more answers that you can question, the more answers you can question, good English, uh, the more questions that you can answer inside of your content, the easier it's going to make your life, right? If, if, if you have to look at it from like a consumer's perspective and look at it on a little bit of a deeper level. If I'm coming onto a live or I'm coming into a written piece of content, I'm, t I'm telling them everything like, Hey, this is the game plan that's going to happen when you come in and you jump into one of our products. Uh, this is the type of support you're going to get. This is like how you can expect us to show up in your business. Uh, like this, the, the, the less questions that person is going to have. Right. Because the more you can explain in the content, it, it's going to make them more confident when you're actually speaking to them. And you're like, hey, I have this this kick ass program that's helped helped our clients do over a million dollars in sales in the last 15 months. And you only got 10 days left to jump in on the payment plan. Is that something you want to do? Right. Like they already they already kind of know whether they want to do it or not. Right. The sales the sales conversations can become really short because I've already explained all that in my content. And for those of you guys that are watching, yes, that's a very real offer. Uh, Group Juice payment plan is going away next Friday. Not this Friday, Friday after that, it will be going away. So if you want to have a chat about that, give me a hashtag Group Juice in the comments and I will send you the invite. If not, no big deal. Um, so next would be like, what will they get from you product in order to get to the green grass? Right? What are they actually going to get from working with you? Right? Like, what is the actual outcome? And like, what is the, the thing going to help them do? Like, that's the only reason people are buying products from anybody. They want to, there, there's usually two main approaches, right? So like some people, I mean, don't get me wrong. There is some people that are just buying raw information because they want quick tips. They want tactics, they want strategies. But the reality is more often than not, it's because they want to change something about their life. They want to accomplish X goal, right? If they're buying a 12 week fitness program, it's because, you know, maybe that maybe they have a vacation plan and they want to lose 20 pounds or they have, you know, maybe they want to feel better about themselves, right? Like they're, they're actually buying something deeper than the actual product, right? There, there's a reason behind that. So if you can convey that in your content, it's, it's extremely powerful. Uh, number three, and this is a big thing. A lot of people miss, right? This is a, this is a thing that a lot of affiliates miss. Right. So if you're brand new to the online world or you're potentially thinking about getting into the online world, number three is the most one. I would probably say the most important aspect of it, uh, because a lot of people get get hung up on the, you know, the product. They get married to affiliate products. They get married to, hey, I have this program. I have this. And, and like it works. But the reality is, is, is if you want long term security, you need to really lean into to step three into bucket number three. That's what's going to give you as a brand owner, uh, the ultimate security over, over, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 years, because you're leaning into you, right? Personal brand. You're, we want to implore everybody to build a personal brand. And as the name implies, it's got to be personal, right? And that, that's whether you're an affiliate for some of our products, you're an affiliate for a different product, right? You need to lean into you because that's, what's going to give you the ultimate security. So who are you? right? Your flaws, your strengths. Uh, what do you do for fun? How'd you grow up? Stuff you didn't enjoy, your voice, uh, you know, so in how you see the world, right? As a whole, what are your perspectives, beliefs on life and business? 
Uh, do you have a do you have a dark sense of humor? Don't be afraid to mix in your actual humor, right? Don't be afraid to mix in your actual personality, right? What makes you tick in a good way? What makes you fly off the handle? What are you breathing out here breathing for? Like, what are you actually trying to do with your life and business, right? Like, bring it you to the content, and, and like this this aspect is gonna allow you to be. It's gonna allow you to build deeper connections with people, which which is the the key element needs to be in place is there has to be a relationship built or a connection with somebody for anybody to buy a product from you. And the easiest way to do that is just by sharing more shit about yourself. Right? You don't have to be a robot. You don't have to go create 75 different TikTok accounts for different niches and different shit. Like just be yourself on the internet and start building an audience because of it. I know it sounds really cliche, but it's 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 a crucial one. And, and, and like, if you look on a deeper level, it's it's really powerful because you're you're letting people understand, and you you can virtually let it be a filtration process for your potential clients, because the reality is is like you don't want to work with everybody, you don't want everybody to buy your program, you don't want everybody to buy your thing, because, for example, like if I'm trying to sell somebody group juice, if if you looked at it like I showed up in my business very prim and proper. And I was all professional and then they come into group juice and I'm making inappropriate jokes and I'm, you know, cussing and I'm, and I'm being myself. Like that's who I am as a person. You, you, uh, your, your clients that come work with you, they're going to feel like, like what the hell ha just happened? Like they just duped me. They, they created this placebo of a person on the content to get me to buy from them. And then they flip the script on me. Right. And, and then you're retaining that relationship. And if you guys don't know yet, we're extremely big on long term relationships, long term clients, you know, working with people longer term. And it goes hand in hand with with just being yourself on the Internet, which I know is a daunting task or scary for some. But and then the other caveat to that is nobody else can be you. Right. So like th there's this weird paradox is like you can literally show up as yourself on the Internet and start eliminating your competition because nobody else is you. Right. Nobody else has your personality traits. Nobody has your exact perspectives on the world or ex experiences in life. And I'm not saying all of you guys have to go out there and talk about, you know, the deep, dark shit, the tra trauma stuff that you guys don't want to talk about. Like you don't have to do that. I'm just saying just show up as yourself. And you'll end up starting to build really cool relationships with people uh, just by you showing up, right? Sharing portions of your story, sharing, you know, things that you're actually doing in your life, right? And, and as I mentioned in the beginning of this, this training or the document is like, when you talk about the content being an accumulative game, if you can talk about what you're doing in your life, like, for example, like say Bethany, right? Going in, in I'm, I'm doing this baseball thing with my son. Right. So the, a good real time example is like, hey, I put out this piece of content that's talking about me, you know, navigating these busy weekends because my son's playing baseball. And now these baseball moms are following me and then they see a different piece of content. They're like, oh, shit, this lady I started following who was talking about, you know, her son doing baseball. Uh, she does online business. Now I'm interested in doing online business, too. Right. So you can start building connections with people outside of the online space. And naturally, there's going to be less competition over there because not everybody's preaching, you know, make money online, be be an Internet guru and all that stuff. Right. Like it, it'll allow you to start tapping into broader audience as well. So lastly, number four, a very important one, uh, the money investment. The biggest thing, this is this is something a lot that scares a lot of people that they don't want to talk about in their content. You have some program creators who say you can't talk about pricing. Right. Whereas me and Flip, we're, we're kind of the polar opposite of that is we would implore most of you guys to talk about investments or money as much as you can. Right. The more you guys can talk about that casually inside of your content, the better off you're going to be because you're not you're not like trying to pull the wool on people. They know there's an investment. I know there's products that you have to sell. So and this doesn't mean every piece of content needs to be. Hey, I have this thousand dollar offer. I have this program that you have to buy. That's not what I'm saying. You can inject this different ways in your content. So uh, what have you invested in yourself, your knowledge? Why uh, go deep, right? So like, for example, 
Like if, if I start talking about how I personally spend $4,000 a month on coaching, like it, it's, it's go, it, the more I talk about that and that, that is what I spend on coaching. I spend 4k a month. Naturally what's going to happen is people are going to be okay with me talking about money. And, and this doesn't have to be me repeating myself. Hey, I spend 4k. It could be like, Hey, this is what I, this is what I learned in my $50,000 a month mastermind. Right, right out of the gate, I'm talking about this in my content. I'll, I'll inject this type of verbiage all of the time, right? Or if I talk about our pay clients, hey, this this is what one of our clients did who bought one of our thousand dollar offers from us. This is what our our coaching clients, which is a four figure a month coaching program, this is this is what they were able to accomplish, right? So it's me casually injecting price points or talking about investments without actually being like, hey, I have this product to sell. Hey, I have something that I need you to buy. Right, it's me getting people okay with talking about money or investments without actually even making them an offer. And right, I'm just talking, I'm just injecting pricing into my content because it's going to, it, it, over time, it's going to be really powerful because if I'm talking about, hey, this is what happened in Group Juice, which is, you know, our thousand dollar program, and, you know, zoom out six months and somebody like raises their hand and they send me a messenger like, hey, you know, I've been seeing a lot of your content about group juice. Like, you know, how do I get into that? They already know how much it costs. They already know there's an investment involved and I don't have to do the song and dance in the DMS because they, they already know I've already, I've already painted that picture in the content. Right. Um, so talk, talk about your own risks and investments, right? Uh, talk about things you, I, I wouldn't necessarily say talk about things in name, uh, you know, that's not really necessarily our style where it's like, hey, I bought X program and it's garbage. Like, don't do that. It's a bad look for the, the brand as a whole. Uh, but talk about concepts and strategies that you've maybe invested to, into that didn't work. You know, as I did in the beginning of this, I talked about me running a digital marketing agency. You know, I probably spent $15,000 on paid, paid ads and, you know, I've made, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Right. Um, so. Own risks, investments. Uh, have you invested, you know, thousands, tens, or or hundred thousands? Right. Talk about your own investments you've made in your business. Right. Uh, that that's a big one. I just I just kind of hammered that a bit. Right. I talk about my own investments all the time. Right. I've invest. I've bought every product under the sun at this point, really. Uh, and I, and I still actively invest in in myself. Right. As as I just said, I spend about fifty k a year on mentorship, which is crazy. That's twice as much as I used to make at my job. Right. I had a minimum wage job. So um, investment always isn't money either. So, right. Like time is an investment. Learning is an investment. Right. If you talk about you talk about actual what people are going to have to do if they want to replace their jobs online, if they want to build a six figure business, if they want to you know, make enough money to get an extra vacation in the year. Right. What is the actual thing they're going to have to invest? Right. Are, are they going to have to spend, you know, X amount of time building the business, right? What are they actually going to have to do, right? It doesn't have to just be a monetary investment. It could be how much time somebody could expect to spend each day, right? Um, if you mix all four, three of the, if you mix the first three buckets well and nail number four, uh, the sales will become really easy to start selling, right? The 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 closing the the point from conversation starting to actually them pulling out their wallet and buying a product from you can be really short, right? I regularly get people coming into my group and we maybe have four or five messages and they're already buying a product. It's, it's, and, and that's by, you know, leveraging a mixture of these buckets and kind of cycling through the different types of buckets and, and using that. So, and, and the ultimate goal for me anyways, and what we like to implore a lot of our, our contents to do contents, our clients is, uh, you know, go heavier. If you want, if you want the easier sales conversations, you can go heavier on the, on the content game, right? The better job you can do in your content, the easier the sales become. Now there is the other side of that coin is if, if you're better in DMS, if you're like a sales savant and you, you know how to talk to people, you can go less value in the content, a higher volume approach, but you're going to have to pick that weight up in the conversations, right? There, there's no one way to skin a cat, right? Like, it's, it's not online business isn't so black and white. That's the reality of it. So uh, folks should know so, that you have something to sell quickly after getting into your world. This, this is a big one. And I see a lot of people 
like a couple of people in the comments too, right? Everybody wants the free thing. Everybody wants to build their business for free. Uh, if you look at the pin post in my group, I, I mentioned it a few times, right? This group is a dedicated space to find perfect candidates for one of my paid opportunities. I'm letting people know right out of the gate that I do have products to sell. I do have, uh, you know, offers to sell. Uh, I don't think it's a dirty word. And, and while you can't eliminate them all together, there is always going to be people that like want free information. They want free tactics. They want, you know, they want to eat up every lead magnet you, you have to offer, never do anything with it. Um, but I think the more you can talk about this kind of this bucket as a whole, your own investments, things you've bought, things you've invested in, active investments you're making in your business. Uh, and this doesn't mean you have to go out there and you have to like say, hey, I invest in an X program. You can just talk about monetary investments as a whole. It, it, it'll it do a really good job at training your audience over time. Because it, it, I'll go back to the statement I made in the beginning. If I'm, if I'm always talking about, hey, I spend $50,000 a month on mentorship. This is what I learned from my $50,000 a month mastermind. Somebody who wants to build their business off of free lead magnets isn't going to resonate with what I just said because I just talked about an astronomical amount of money to them, right? They're not even willing to bust out 10 bucks. Do you think they're going to be okay with spending that kind of money, right? If that makes sense. So it's me casually fil filtrating people or filtering my ideal clients by just talking about my own investments or maybe some of the clients that we've had that have bought some of our offers. I'm using that to repel them. Or, or kind of let them make their own decisions like, hey, maybe this isn't for me because this is too expensive. Hey, maybe this isn't for me because, you know, I don't have money to invest in my business. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Like there's nothing wrong with somebody not wanting to buy programs or products, right? Like everybody is in a different financial situation and I don't expect everybody to be okay with, with spending money, right? That's, that's, that's the reality of it. Um. By simply talking about what you're doing and what's happening in your business, you will naturally become an inter interesting person to other folks, right? Uh, intrigue and curiosity are powerful when used uh, correctly. So uh, all the content you create around these four buckets by default, pre-sell folks uh, on you more uh, and more over time. And soon enough, you will start to have more and more inbound folks hitting you up to chat with you about your offer. Um, and, hit, and hit you with, I want to sign up with you now, right? Like the, the better job, and I, I've already said this a few times, but the better job you can do in the content, the easier and easier the sales will become, right? A lot of our sales are processes and our conversations are really short, but that's how we want our business to run. Like we don't, I don't want to spend 82 days talking to somebody in a, in a DM conversation, right? Like I want you to feel confident in coming and buying one of our products because I've, I've painted that picture in the con in the content already. And then I want you to come work with us in one of our paid worlds and kick some ass and change your life. But I also want you to understand like, hey, if this isn't for you, then then don't buy. Right. If if this isn't what you want to do, don't buy a product from us. Right. That's that's OK. There's there's hundreds and thousands of other people out there that, that will want to work with us. It's no no hard feelings about that. Right. Uh, every single bucket above is pre-selling on you, all that you stand for and offer at any given time, no matter if it's a video or written, short or long. So that's all I got for you today on today's training. Uh, just a quick kind of breakdown of the four different buckets you guys can kind of really speak into in your content. Obviously, you guys could potentially look at like creating your own content rotation and cycle through these four different styles cycle through these four different buckets of content, right? Obviously, the more content people consume, the better off you're going to be, right? Bunch of boom sauce. So close this out. If you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to uh, hang out, jam out. Uh, we are we are a few weeks out um, from group juice price growing, going up. Payment plan option is going away in next Friday. So pro like less than... It's exactly 11 days, right? So if you want to get your complete roadmap on content creation, right? We actually have a content matrix inside of there that gives you, you know, dozens and dozens of pieces of content that we've used to sell hundreds of thousands of dollars of products online. Uh, and a lot of them have minimal engagement. So another thing that I probably should have mentioned is 
content doesn't have to go viral, doesn't have to perform extremely well on a service level for it to actually be profitable. Uh, so if you guys want to have a chat about that, give me a shout. If not, no hard feelings, no big deal either way. We're still going to be showing up, running these trainings for you uh, with the intention of you guys taking the information at hand and, and going and kicking some ass because of it. Uh, are you going to have a new payment plan with the price increase? Yes, sir. We are going to have a new payment plan option. Uh, probably will not be live until the first. So there will be probably like a two week, maybe three week period that there will be no payment plan option for group juice. So the 194 times eight is going away on the 16th. Uh, and when it does come back, it will be 224 times nine. Uh, the thousand dollar offer, the, the one time a thousand option is going away uh, on the 26th at 12 a.m. ES, EST. Uh, after that, we are rerunning the entire group juice program as a live workshop bring our takeaways from you know working with 1600 plus clients you know doing hundreds of thousands of dollars online uh, having clients who've done hundreds of thousands of dollars online um and uh you know kind of rerunning all the training if you haven't i ran a 30 minute live last week kind of breaking down everything that's going to be changing uh but yeah that's kind of the game plan for for that so Payment plan goes away 16th and full pay will be going up by $500 on the 26th. So for example, if you're not okay with me talking about offers in this community, might not be the right space for you. Uh, and you're going to be really annoyed with me by the end of the month because I'm going to be getting the offer is in as many hands as I can, because I am 100% confident when you take the information and you apply it religiously, it will change your life. So it changed my life and it's changed a lot of our clients' lives. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a kick-ass Monday. Uh, appreciate you guys joining me on a training. Uh, probably we'll be back with another one next week. Uh, we'll see. I will be in, I'm going to California on vacation. So maybe not. I'll keep you guys posted though. Anywho, have a kick-ass Monday and I will catch you guys in the next one.